Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Paddy Kills here. I am back with a uh, brand new video. It's another NHL 19 rebuild. Now rebuilding the Edmonton Oilers today. It's going to be an interesting rebuild. Before we do get into that, I want you guys to drop that like button. Let's go for 30 likes on this video. Subscribe to Triumph if you guys are new. We're so close. We're, we're challenged for going a lot. And uh, I want you to comment down below which rebuild, which team should I rebuild next. So just leave a comment down below which rebuild uh, should I do next. The, um, they can do, uh, we can do a realistic rebuild or we can do like a fantasy free agent rebuild. For example, our Tammy Panarin signs in Florida rebuild or something, maybe Matt Duchesne signs in Nashville rebuild. One of those rebuilds. But yeah, this is the team. Going to be pretty tough because of the contracts that this team has. But we're running with Poole Arvey, McDavid, Drysaddle. I want Poole Arvey to grow and I think this line is going to score a lot. Just want like all three of these guys to score. We got Milan Lucic. I'm playing. I just want Milan Lucic to be able to score. But I'm gonna try to trade Lucic. His contract's basically untradeable. Six million in five years. Don't think I'm gonna be able to uh, trade him. We got Nugent Hopkins and Ty Ratty. Um, but yeah, you, you guys can see, man, just, just, the, the depth on the Oilers is not good. Like besides these three players, McDavid, Drysdale, and Hopkins, uh, Nugent. There's really no good players on this team. Like just, the winger depth is is not that good. Defense, on the other hand, isn't that bad. We got Clefbaum and Nurse. Hopefully, Nurse can grow to like an 85. Um, we got Sakara, Larson, Benning, and uh, Petrovic. Um, the only bad thing is Sakara's contract's pretty bad. I mean, 5.5 million for three years at 32. I, I would like to trade that, but it's not it's not the worst contract, so he's going to still be on the team. And then we got Mr. $4.5 million, Miko Koskinen, who is going to be our starter goaltender. He's going to get paid 4.5 million dollars so let's see the ahl team see what this team has to work with in the ahl uh, we, got, we do have some good prospects cooper amardi seems like he's good carry yamamoto hopefully he can turn into something for us maybe second or third year play in the nhl um tyler benson hopefully he grows so there's some good prospects and they still got um we still have some good prospects like we got i forgot about these two brandon manning's ridiculous contract and Chris Russell's ridiculous contract. So I forgot about those two. But we do have some good prospects. We got Caleb Jones, Ethan Bear, and Evan Bouchard. So okay, I think you know my plan for year one is um simulate year one, not make that many changes. I'm gonna try to trade away some contracts. But other than that, we're just gonna simulate the season, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so like just think we're just gonna be able to simulate the season. So I'll see you guys probably at the end of the season. All right, guys, I literally completely forgot to record the end of the season and the playoffs. But as you can see, I'm going to show you guys basically the season. So we finished 44 and 34 and 4. We made the playoffs, which I'm very surprised about. We got second in the Pacific. But then we lost in five games against San Jose. San Jose beat us in five games. We were literally destroyed. And uh, yeah, we got literally destroyed. Um, Toronto won the Stanley Cup. I'll show you guys the awards, but first I want to show you guys the points this season because I, I didn't show that either. Um, uh, McDavid had 99 points this year. Connor McDavid, 50 assists and 49 goals. Dreisel had 91. And Nugent Hopkins, actually, 77 points. That's not even playing. Like, Nugent Hopkins was playing second-line minutes this season, and he put up 77. So hopefully he keeps that up next season because we're going to need him next year. 48 for Ty Rowdy, 48 for Pularvi. I mean, Pularvi... Was playing a lot of minutes. I, I mean, he hasn't really grown. Cause I put Pular on with Drysdale McDavid, so hopefully he can grow, which hasn't happened. Clef bomb. You can see the rest of the team. Um, we also uh, signed a couple free agents. Carl Hagelin, I signed. Um, he, and we signed uh, Brandon Colburn just so we bring in like an extra defenseman. We also signed Marcus Peterson, and I, I, I had to give up like a third round pick for him. In my opinion, that is a complete steal in my books. Um, obviously the awards, let me show you guys the awards, um, Toronto won the Stanley Cup, um, and the President's Trophy, San Jose, so we lost to San Jose in five games, they ended up going to the Stanley Cup Finals, which is interesting, Tavares, uh, with the Art Ross and the Hart, James Marshall, Morgan Rally, Lady Bing to Mitch Mar so wait, look how many Toronto Maple Leafs just won the awards, wow, uh, Pedersen with the Calder, Anderson with the Constantine, Vezina to Vasilevsky, and the Women Jennings, Bill Mashin went to Alex Edler, Selke went to Getzlaff, Ted Lindsay to uh, Tavares, and um, Sagan got the uh, Maurice Richard. So many Maple Leafs scored. And also, I want to show you guys who led the league in points this year because I know everyone asks me so much. Um, basically, gameplay sliders just make them 100 everything except for goaltenders, and you're going to get something. So 150 points for Tavares, 
110 for um, Crosby. 107, 66 goals for Tyler Sagan. Damn, that's a lot of goals. You guys can see just all the points. McDavid was uh, fifth in the league in points, which is good to see. He cracked almost a 100-point list. Um, which is pretty interesting. So we did sign a couple free agents. We did trade away some guys. For example, I think I ended up trading away Zach Cassian for a third round, uh, a second round pick, which I thought was worth it. Um, we also did sign uh, Carl Hagelin, and he did pretty good, whichever team he played for. Um, but as you can see, we're contenders right now. Basically, uh, our team is basically set in stone. Really, just gonna have to sim into next season, um, hoping that we can somehow replace. Okay, we got this interesting trade offer here. The Florida Panthers want to give me a first-round pick for Andre Sekera. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I really like Andre uh, Sekera. He played really good for us. But that first-round pick, like, like the Florida Panthers, um, I, did a, I did a rebuild with them a couple. Like I, I, I didn't do a rebuild. I was just playing with them for fun. They're really a hit-or-miss team. Like Sometimes they make the playoffs. Sometimes they don't. Looking at their roster, they do have some good players. Um, but I missed the playoffs with them with this roster and like I added someone good. So let me see who's in net for them. Luongo, who's 40. I, I don't know if I should take this because that first round pick could end up being really good. But honestly, I'm going to take this trade. Why not? I feel like it's going to help us win, even though it kind of affects our team right now. But we still have like three more years to win. Like uh, we got three more seasons to win. We just got another trade offer. Sam Gagne for and a third round pick for Matt Martin and a second. Interesting. Um, Matt Martin is a seventy seven overall, and I did he like Matt Martin AHL. I thought that was NHL numbers. I mean, no way he put up fifty points. Sam Gagne, even though he is getting three point one million dollars, I like him. He was decent for us last year. He put up thirty three points on the fourth line. I'm just going to bring him back this season. I mean, I can afford to give him $3 million just for this season. His contract's going to come off the books. So, yeah, I'm not trading away Sam Gagne. He's going to be on the team. Um, but just looking at our roster, I think, I personally think next season, I don't know if we're going to win the Stanley Cup because uh, I let go of Andre Sekra for our first-round pick. We'll see if that trade's good. If the Florida Panthers make the playoffs, that's probably a bad trade. But if they do miss it, that's a good trade. We're just going to have to wait and see. Um, I really hoping that Florida does end up missing the playoffs so we can get like a top seven, top five pick in the draft. If not, I, I don't think that's worth it. Plus, Andre, I mean, Andre Sekera has got two more years left on his $5 million contract, and he's been a pretty good defender for us. So we're just going to have to wait and see to next season. So I'm going to edit up the lines. And uh, yeah, so here's what they have the lines set for us automatically. So they want McDavid, Dreisaitl. Uh, yeah, okay, you can see that this team is probably not going to win this year, even though Clefbaum, Nurse, got Colborn, Larson. Yeah, I'm going to be playing Peterson. Um, even though we let go of Sekra, our D, D core isn't that bad. I mean, still a pretty good defensive core. Goaltending this season, uh, um, Koskinen went up to an 85, so he grew two overalls. Hopefully that continues. We've got Michael Hutchinson backing him up. Um, I'm going to kind of edit the lines. Um, who do I want? I kind of want I kind of want McDavid and Dreisaitl playing together. Hopkins, he put up seven. He put a lot of points last year. He's gonna be our second line center. Um, Sam Gagne is gonna be probably playing fourth line minutes. I want Juju to play third line minutes so he can grow. Um, we're gonna go with this lineup again. Um, it's kind of the same lineup we had last year. I mean, our top, our our bottom six, I think, got way worse. But uh, I, I still think we can win. I still think we can win. This is the AHL team. Um, nothing too good anymore. I mean, Yamamoto. Is in the NHL right now, but basically we're gonna simulate this season. Hopefully, we do end up making the postseason. I also forgot I want to change up the power plays. I want to I want to load my power plays. Um, I want to have like the best players available on my power plays. So I'm gonna take out Nurse on this power play and put in like maybe Yamamoto or something. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna be the power play unit: Drysdale, McDavid, Hopkins, Pool, RV, Clapham. That's a sick power play unit. Um, obviously. That's going to be the team this season, and I'll see you guys at the trade deadline day. All right, guys, I'm making a big trade. I'm trading away literally the ninth overall pick, this prospect, uh, the fir uh, the 15th pick, and a couple picks of the first overall pick. Trade accepted. Let's go. And the reason why I did this pick, I don't care about my picks because you guys are not going to believe who is in this free agency. So we got a medium franchise player, Hayden Murray. That I'm gonna draft. It's a created player. He's an 81 overall. Yes, that's what we need. I don't care 
if I gave up, like, we gave up two picks. I want to see um, round one. So, obviously, Lafreniere goes second overall to Ottawa. I hate how EA creates these um, made-up players that are so good, but I, I decided to trade up for it because <laughs> this, like, this is what we need. We need winger dead. We just got literally an 18-year-old franchise, medium franchise player. Hayden Murray, who's going to be playing with McDavid. He's going to be like, oh my god, I can't wait for this. It's my first time actually drafting a franchise player in so long. So I'm going to see who Minnesota used. So they got uh, Raymond at 75 overall, medium elite. And with the 15th pick, who did they get? They got, okay, so their draft was pretty good. But still, I don't care how the draft worked out. So I'm going to make my pick here. Um, we got a second round pick. Uh, we're basically going to try to get something good. Maybe, I don't know, we're going to see who's available. High elite um to see if there's any gems available but i don't really care i trade away a prospect but like i did trade up my two first round picks but i think it's worth it we just got literally a sick player a player that we definitely 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 need low elite we can probably get him in some other rounds i think i might end up drafting him if there's no one available. so this guy's a guaranteed medium top nine um uh this guy's a high top nine i want to go for this guy high top nine guaranteed that is a me. He is a high bottom six. Damn, our scouts really messed that up. So we don't have any picks. We have a third round pick. And after that, I think we don't have any more picks because we traded them away. Um, for this one, I'm going to try to get maybe a good player. Um, low elite. Might as well go for a low elite. Um, so he's a low elite. That's a great pickup for us. Low elite. I mean, a lot of these guys are such low overalls. But like the reason why you still want to draft these guys is because you can use them in trades because they have a lot of value. So that's why drafting is really, really important. Who can I get? Um, Okay, I'm going to go for the best value here. We're going to get v Yannick Valentin, who is going to be a low top nine for us. And uh, I think that's the draft. Okay, we have one more pick. But I'm very excited for this team. Like, we already got, we got, like, literally McDavid, Murray. Holy cow, I feel like we're already going to be really good next season. I don't know. I'll pick this guy. I don't really care about the seventh round pick. That was a pretty bad pick, but whatever. Um, so I'm very excited for this team. So those are the draft picks we made. I think it was a really, really good draft. We had a really good draft, and I'm super excited for this team because I think next year, I think we're going to be Stanley Cup contenders. I think next year is going to be the year, or hopefully it is. So um, we got some restricted free agents to sign. So, um, I mean, we're going to see who we're going to have to sign. So we have... About 19, 20, about 20 million in cap space, so, which is good. I'm going to go all expiring, so we have uh, Delmo, Nurse, and P uh, Peterson. We have to re-sign. Gagne, I would like to bring back Gagne. He's been pretty good for us. Um, Other than that, like, I mean, the rest of these guys can literally walk. So we have 19 million in cap space. Um, How much is Nurse going to want? Nurse is going to want 5 million. That's a lot of money. Um... Maybe I can offer you, like, one year is super cheap. Like, I want to save some money. I I, I mean, I want to also lock them up. Um, Maybe a three-year deal for 4.65. Three-year deal for 4.65. got Peterson as well. We have to lock him up. He's going to want a decent amount too. Actually, I mean, I think two years, 3.4 is reasonable. Um, Two years, 3.5 seems about fair. Um, other than that, I'll come back to the rest of these guys. Hopefully, uh, Nurse and, um, Nurse and Peterson sign. Nurse accepts and Peterson accepts. So, that, I think that was a good contract for us. Still, I think we're going to have over 10 million in cap space. And we have 11.6 million in cap space. And I don't really think I'm going to bring anyone back. I mean, we got Ethan Bear, who, Matt Benning as well. I don't know. I think Matt Benning will qualify him. Just because we have Evan Bouchard coming up. I don't know if Bouchard... I mean, Jordan Kuru, uh, Juju Kara, um, st still a lot of money, man. I think I'm going to qualify him as well. Um, Zach Cassian, Hagland, don't really care too much about them. The rest of these guys can honestly leave. Um, yeah, I don't really care about the rest of these guys. Um, Sam Gane, though, I would like to bring him back on a pretty good contract. I'm going to give him a one-year, $2 million contract. Uh, maybe one, maybe he accepts a one point nine million dollar contract. Uh, he doesn't want an extension, so I don't think he's gonna be back with us. Um, Ethan Bear, how much does Bear want? Um, Bear, yeah, how about one million for one year? That seems about fair. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see you guys later.
Hunter. All right, guys. It was a pretty disappointing season for us. I just want to say, um, just first, this is obviously the second season of the team. Uh, four, we finished 41, 34, and 7, and then I think we ended up losing in the first round. And we, we beat uh, Colorado in seven games. Then we lost in five games to Minnesota, which was disappointing. Um, the highest we made it is the second round, so maybe conference finals next year. But obviously... Uh, I want to show you guys all the points because I know I didn't show you guys the points and all that fun stuff. But actually, never mind. I did end up. I actually did show you guys the points. My bad. I thought I didn't, but obviously we're free agency, and uh, our team status is still champion. I did get rid of some players. For example, um, basically Adam Larson is not coming back to the team. Um, instead, we did end up acquiring Dougie Hamilton, who was about 200000 uh, about like, uh, I think 500 k more expensive, but I think it was worth it. I think Dougie Hamilton is going to come into this team, help us out, have an like, a actual sick top defensive core. Um, we're going to have literally a, a good top four, a good top six. So defense, in my opinion, isn't a problem. We also got Kevin DeHaan. We traded him away for Milan Lucic. We got rid of Lucic's contract. I know I wanted, I really wanted to win a Stanley Cup with Milan Lucic on the team, but it was just, I had to take that deal because it was going to help us. So honestly, man, like free agent signings this year, pff, we did sign some free agents, um, some good ones. Obviously, Vasilevsky wasn't really that good for us. Koskinen, is, unfortunately, is still on the team, but his contract comes with the book. So, um, I mean, we also have Stuart Skinner, who's going to be a pretty damn good goaltender for us. Maybe be back up after next season but obviously like the team trying to win i think that's the most important thing for us is uh trying to win so we're obviously going to simulate into the next season and basically show you guys the line and uh all of that fun stuff but i'm really hoping that this team can potentially win so we got a trade offer here i really hoping like we can end up winning so caleb jones accepts like we have a lot of defense but i think we have like eight defensemen who can play in the nhl so um, we might make some trades. We might not. We still have like Hayden Murray is a sick player. We had a franchise player last year's draft. He's so sick. He's like, I think he's an 87 overall. He might even grow to a 90, but it's just really sick that we're going to have like two franchise players in McDavid and Murray on the same team playing on the same line. Um, really this season, I think, I think this year I said it last season, but I think this year we might win the cup. Um, just for, I think the defense got better. The only, th again, the thing is our top, our, our depth on this team is not good offensively. We have a really good goaltender, a Vesna goalie and Vasilevsky. We have a pretty good backup in 82 overall backup goalie. We have a, a sick defensive core. Like the thing about our defensive core is we don't have a superstar defenseman on our team. We just have like depth, a good depth def defensive team. So, um, I think that's what it is uh, but here's the lineup and Hayden Murray's a 89 overall pool larvae is an 88 which is sick um dry cells 90 Hopkins is 87 but you can see like the team is pretty damn good um I think our winner depth is really good this season like we're gonna have an 84 year old Ke uh, Yamamoto which is sick so this is gonna be the lineup this season we're gonna have a uh, pool larvae McDavid Murray Ty Ratty, Leon Dreisaitl, Nushkin Hopkins, Josh Anderson, Riley Sheehan, uh, Yamamoto, Benson, Marty, and Tanner Pearson. I gave Tanner Pearson a one-year $2.5 million contract because I think he's going to help this team out a lot. Now, one thing we can upgrade is our right, right winger, maybe being like a better player. Other than that, that's good. Defense is looking really, really good. I have uh, Clefbon and Hamilton, Nurse and Peterson, Kevin DeHunt and Evan Bouchard. Who do we have scratched? We have Ethan Bear Scratch, who's an 80 overall. And we also have... Okay, I got to play Thomas Ryder in there. Um, goaltenders, we have Andre Vasileski, who's a sick goaltender. And we have Koskinen, who's actually a pretty decent backup. The good thing is his contract is over at the end of this season. That is so, so... like We needed that contract to literally be over. So I will see you guys at the end of this season and uh, in the playoffs. All right, guys. So before uh, we're back here and we finally won the championship in the final season... Uh, of this rebuild we finally won a championship i'm gonna show you guys the uh basically the scoring first off before showing you guys the season so regular season scoring hayden murray the guy we traded for last year with the first overall pick 
he is now up to a 93 overall. He is a he put up 98 points. And McDavid put up 97. Drysdale put up 80, 70 for Pular, 55 for Hamilton, basically 50 for both Hopkins and Yamamoto, which is really good. Yamamoto is an 84 now. Ty Reddy had 45, 32 for Clefbaum. You can see the rest of the points. Um, I mean, our defense this year was probably one of the best, and we still have like Evan Bouchard. We still have like, you know a lot of young defenders in this league. Um, the, the defense. So, thirty-seven wins this season for Andre Vasilevsky. Thirty-seven, twenty-seven, three with four shots. Had a pretty good save percentage. Was a really good goalie for us, and then obviously nine wins. And if we do do another year, um, which if you guys do want me to do another season of this, drop a like because I'm pretty down to do it. Um, just it was really fun to do this rebuild it was a lot it was a heck load of fun um so obviously let me show you guys the entire league scorings uh Pedersen had eight, uh, 109 points Sagan with 108 Patrick Kane with 106 103 for Taylor Hall Vas uh, Vasile Paul Colson 102 with the Canucks which is interesting he's an 87 overall which is crazy Ovechkin had 101 Tarasenko with 199 you can see the rest of them Dylan Strom had 99 but those are the season scorings now I'm going to show you guys the playoff scorings and the playoff trees. So obviously the playoff scorings. I'm going to show you guys the playoff scoring. So obviously uh, Hayden Murray, 29 points. He was a stud. Uh, McDavid had 26, 22 for uh, Drysdale. And Jesse Poularvi had 22 points as well. 14 for Yamamoto, 12 for Hamilton. You can see the rest. And now I'm going to show you guys Vasilevsky's stats. Vasilevsky 16-3-1. Really good save percentage, 932 and 3 shutouts. Vasilevsky was really good for us. Uh, in the playoffs now i'm gonna show you guys the uh playoff tree and uh, this is the playoff tree so obviously we you can see that we took on san jose we beat them in six we took on calgary we beat them in six uh, and then obviously we swept colorado and we swept detroit and we uh we actually were down uh 2 against edmonton and then we won eight straight games after that so we went eight and zero after losing two straight against calgary so we after that we went on an absolute tear and as you can see, Detroit, they beat uh, Flyers in six, they beat Islanders in six, and they beat the Penguins in six, and they lost to us. That is the NHL scoring. So I'm, this is where the video is going to come to an end. It was actually really fun doing this rebuild. Um, just a lot of fun doing this because it was pretty hard. The first two seasons were really difficult doing this, and then obviously the third year, I think, was beautiful. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. Drop a like, subscribe, and as always, tell me which team I should be rebuilding next. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Peace.